August, summer on the river. We've got a mid-sized river here. Water's up, water is a little fast. We had a big rain event uh, yesterday morning that brought the water up about a foot and then back down again overnight. So it had been stable for an entire week and those are really good conditions. Freak thunderstorm yesterday morning and the river went up about a foot and came back down again overnight. So obviously that's a big spike in the change in water level here. And that kind of tends to interrupt the fish a little bit, but they still live here and they're still able to be caught. So we're gonna give it a whirl. So this bait, this is like a fluke style bait. Uh, this is a Descend series minnow from Lunker Hunt. And what I like about that is it's, it sinks faster. The current tends to keep these baits up a little bit. And since it's ripping, ripping a little bit, I'm gonna use a denser bait that falls faster. And then today we're targeting smallmouth. And personally, this hook fits really good on this bait. It's designed for it. Maybe a little big for smallmouth today. So I've just downsized to a three dot hook and I went to a heavier gauge hook as well because smallmouth pull, I mean, they fight hard and then you're in current nonetheless. So having a thicker gauge hook is gonna help from bending that hook out. So I just went with a VMC three dot EWG for that. You know, one thing with that thicker gauge hook, as I said, I'm trying to keep the bait down a little bit, but not too fast because I want it to be naturally moving in the current, but I also don't want it to blow out of the spots too fast. So I'm doing real subtle things to keep my bait a little more weighted. So a thicker gauge hook, I got a scented core fluke style bait that's going to sink a little faster. So target some of these lay down, some of these cut banks. Hopefully we can come across some rocks. Those are my favorite because they get back eddies behind them and those isolate a lot of fish. So today we're just going to let the river take us and see what presents itself and I'll throw this thing around and drag a couple fish out. So I'm looking at the way the river flows here. We got a hard, almost 90 degree corner here. And when I see a corner like this, I know whichever way the current's flowing. For instance, it's flowing from my back. It's carving out that bank. So that's going to be the deeper side. And this here right next to me is just a shallow grass flat. And I could target the cut banks you know, hoping that fish are maybe suspended on them, but like I said, it's over some deeper water. So I kind of like throwing this fluke over the flat. And another great benefit of it is that it's hooked Texapose, so I can throw it in the weeds, and I think it helps a lot. Because the fish are on the outside of the weeds, but if you throw it in the weeds, like it's coming out of the weeds, that's usually what gets them fired up. So it's nice, I can just kind of, even if I do like a mistake cast and throw it in a little too thick, I can just crawl it out to the edge of the river where I want it to be. There we go. See what we got here. Oh, it feels good. Nice smally. I kind of let the fluke go down a little deeper that time. Oh, I just kind of let the current do the work for the bait. So there we go. Oh, come on. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Always got to kind of pay attention to which way you're drifting here so the current doesn't take you into a log jam. There we go. A little fluke. Sunk it along the grass line. Like I said, there's a flat there. And that's it, a little river chunker. Where there's one, there's usually more. Beauty. So I'll get up river from where that fish was and make a couple more casts because they tend to kind of school up, group up here in the current seams. So I'll show you another look at that bait real quick while I straighten it out on that hook. Like I said, I wanted a little heavier gauge hook, a little smaller hook. Smallies are just vicious creatures, right? So, three out hook, text posed on there, super dense bait. I mean, this thing is solid. Fluke style in the current, can't beat it. There we go. Ooh, this must be a good one. Yeah. Oh, big, big one. 
big, big one. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Tubby tubs. This is a big one. Oh brother. Wow. Wow. This rod is just cranked. Big old ancient. Come here. Yeah. Look at that. That's a lemmix right there. And this current, insane. Gosh dang it. Look at that. That's a beaut right there. That's a monster. I love that. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Fluking in the current's like one of my favorite things ever. Oh, here we go. Let her go. Oh, man. Whew. Target casting a little lay down. Of course, there's an eddy there, and that really helps with the bait staying in one place. Sinks down, kind of floats back up like that, and they just seem to love that. It's a combination of something weedless, a soft plastic you can throw in weeds and around lay downs, but also a topwater bait, so to speak, you know, right above the surface. Uh, another thing too is I'm using a 20 size or a 2000 size reel right now and I'm able to kind of get away with a smaller reel here we go in the river because oh there we go because I got this pedal system see I'm picking up line right now while I'm hooked up so pulling backwards and reeling in slack see this is a medium action rod and this is like a 16 inch bass maybe Maybe. They are complete acrobat freaks. Yeah, this is like a 14 inch bass. Whatever, but see, I was able to pick up on the fish pretty easily because I was backing up on them. Don't always have to have a big bulky arbored speed reel. Carry a little light, a little less bulk in the, in the kayak for you. And see now I'm I'm downriver from it, but I can turn around, cast at it, and then just kind of hold my position here. The current's pushing me back, but I'm pedaling forward. It's a really good looking eddy. There's an old pine tree laid down, cutting the current, and then a shallow eddy with another laid down. I mean that looks there's there's gotta be more than one in there. What I've noticed too is all these fish have come by just letting the current do the work. Literally just casting it out and letting it sink and then a couple twitches here and there by me, but letting that just sink down in the current. Had a real low hanging limb. I just tucked a skip cast all the way up to the bank and this fish was practically waiting for it. Pretty awesome. Ooh, like I was saying about accurate casts, making them all count. This thing is dense, it's easy to cast, skips like a dime. And I was able to present it to this fish. Turn it around, oh she's coughing up crayfish like you wouldn't believe. Can't quite cough up the bait though. There we go. I gave her a little bull ring nose piercing. Cute little guy, but it's super fun making those tight casts like that, knowing that there should be a fish right there. Awesome.